So we're going to look at testing RCDs. Our RCDs can come in the form of an RCCB or in the form of an RCBO. And the requirements for testing are identical regardless of the device. The circuit we are going to test is protected by an RCBO rated at 30 milliamps. RCD protection is given for additional protection for all socket circuits rated at 20 amps and below. The socket shown in the picture is a BS1363 and is rated at 13 amps. Commando style sockets, such as the blue one shown in the bottom left hand corner, also require additional protection because they are rated at less than 20 amps. For this test instrument, we need to set it into the yellow scale on the RCD here. And we're going to set it first of all to test at half its nominal rating, so at 15 milliamps. And we need to set this one again in the yellow scale to the rated value of the RCD being 30 milliamps for the first test. Ready to do our RCD test. Our RCD is set at 30 milliamps on this side of the instrument for the rated value of the RCD here. And we've got it testing first of all half its nominal value in the angle zero. And we expect nothing to happen when I press the test button. This test is purely there for nuisance tripping to see if an RCD will operate at 15 milliamps and not at its rated value of 30. In this case, it didn't operate at all. We change the angle now to 180 degrees and repeat the test again, expecting it again not to trip. Next, we're gonna test our RCD's valued rating of 30 milliamps. This is for fault protection, and we expect the RCD to go within a maximum time of 300 milliseconds. Again, we're in the zero angle. Press the test button. Our RCD is tripped in 28.8 milliseconds. Reset the RCD, change the angle to 180, and test again. This time we've gone in 38.8 milliseconds. We would record the highest of the two values on our test paperwork. The next test requires us to test it at five times its nominal value, so in the test current of 150 milliamps. This is for additional protection. We expect the device to operate within a maximum of 40 milliseconds. Angle zero, test button is pressed. Disconnection time of 28.9. RCD is reset. Angle change to 180. Test button repressed. And again, 18.9 milliseconds. The highest of the readings is recorded on your test paperwork. It's interesting to see how much current it does take to operate a 30 milliamp RCD. Logic suggests that 30 milliamps is the value that would cause it to trip. However, putting on to the ramp test, this will show you the actual amount of current it takes to trip our 30 milliamp RCD. And that's 23 milliamps, which is surprisingly lower than its rated value of 30. So we carried out our RCD tests and we tested it first of all at half its nominal value and got the RCD not to trip. We tested it at its nominal value of 30 milliamps and got it to trip within a maximum of 300 milliseconds. Uh, the other maximum time is 200 milliseconds. It depends on the BS number of the device. If unsure, always use only the 200 milliseconds as the maximum disconnection time at one times its value. At five times its value, 150 milliamps through the RCD, we got it to disconnect below its maximum of 40 milliseconds, proving it can be used for additional protection.